Now, the food you eat, that can go a long way to reducing your anxiety and giving your brain a bit of a boost. Friend of the show, Karina Heinrich, our lifestyle and wellness expert, joins us this morning. Karina, always good to have you. Now, a lot of people start the day, good morning, a lot of people start the day with coffee. So how does that affect our mood? Is it a good thing or bad thing? Luckily, it's a good thing. I have three kids, so it definitely makes me happier. But coffee is the world's most popular drink. It makes the world a bit happier. Three to four cups of caffeine per day can increase alertness, attention, improve overall mood, and give you some pep in your step, especially if you're not a morning person naturally. Okay, good. I imagine that's got to be news. one of those things that yeah. uh, <laughs> it has to be sort of in moderation. You don't want to just be drinking coffee the entire day. 34 cups in the morning, so we don't want it to affect our sleep at night, which definitely does not make us happy. Yeah. Wait, did you say three to four cups is good? Three to four cups is okay. Yep. Okay. Of caffeine. So total <laughs> okay. caffeine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Alex is not a coffee drinker, though. Yeah, so, I stick yeah. with the OJ. That seems to give you You're that You're just pep naturally, in my step. naturally peppy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, getting the day started with a good meal, that can get us started on the right foot. Which uh, foods uh, can really rev up our, our, our engines? Yeah, I love starting the day with bananas because they can turn that frown upside down. Bananas actually help release feel-good feelings, and even one banana can make a huge difference. And if you eat a banana a few hours before bed, it helps with that better night's sleep, which definitely makes us happier. I also love berries because they've been shown to help elevate the mood and actually lower your risk of depression. One to two cups per day in smoothies, parfaits, or even on its own. And then eggs are extra special because their yolk is really high in vitamin D, known as the sunshine vitamin. One to two full eggs a day may be able to do that trick. Interesting, but you said the yolk, so it's important to eat the full egg, not just the egg it white, is. right? It is, I know. I always say eat egg whites, but really the yolk is what gives you that vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Now there's some vitamins, I understand, that help adjust our moods. What's the secret behind folic acid? You know, women know to take that when they're, when they're pregnant, but we all need it, apparently. <laughs> Yes, folic acid has been shown to help boost our moods and possibly calm our bodies. So easy examples are half a cup of high fiber oats, a handful of leafy greens in your salads, or even oranges on the go. So this is really easy to add into your everyday lifestyle as a mood booster. Oh, good orange. I like it. All right. Well, the holidays, of course, they're here, and that means the sweet treats. Uh, how can that yes. kind of set us up for a bit of a downfall? Okay, I have good news and bad news. So sugar does give us a little happy boost at first, but research has suggested that too much sugar can possibly functionally change our brain and actually slow it down. But the good news is, I do have good news, is dark chocolate. So chocolate has significant, can significantly improve our mood, as we know, but you need to stick to one to two small squares and make sure that it has at least 70% of cacao count. Okay. All right. We can do that. Okay. Can do that. You can do that. <laughs> you know, it's going to be a while before we get to more sunlight. And that's something that we've been talking a lot about today on the show. So what will fill us up with happiness and, you know, help people fight depression? Yeah. So obviously, you know, the, the foods can help us, but getting in the kitchen, something that my family loves to do, we love to kind of put all these ingredients together. So omega-3 fatty acids can help boost the, those happy endorphins. So those are easy things like flaxseed, walnut, salmon, okay? So we like to make the Karina Method peanut butter protein bites, requires no cooking skills and not even an oven. So you combine it all, it covers that sweet tooth, and it brings your kids, your family together to make something so easy, which I think is a happy booster during the holidays anyway, being in the kitchen, making something that's actually good for you. I like that, the yeah. fact that it uh, requires no expert uh, chef skills. Too. Yes, yes. Exactly. And we had a, a viewer, um, Karina, who actually commented this morning that you know, going to see their grandkids makes them happy. And so, yes, I think being together yes. really does um, do that for us during this, this season of low daylight and, you know, the stress of everything else going on at the end of the year. Karina Heinrich, Absolutely. our lifestyle and wellness expert. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate your extra goodies thank to help you. us battle the blues. Um, she's got more on her Insta and her website. You can go to thekarinamethod.com. All right, good stuff, good yeah. stuff. Help us all out to get through the uh, winter blues, right? All right, well, that brings us to our question of the day. How do you deal?